Hey guys, how you doing? Saturday, nine o'clock for me, and what do you know? I'm home, uh, but that's okay because I've been working on some stuff. I've been working on the PAX video, which is coming together pretty nicely. Uh, it's going to be pretty long, but it'll be worth it. It's it's been it's been going really well. Um, this picture, I think, was done by Misku or Meth Kink. I always get those two confused. I forget. But this was done last year. This was for the third anniversary. And we are quickly approaching the fourth anniversary of, of the stream, which will be in about a month, a little bit less, May 11th. And um, we're going to probably do like another t-shirt thing, but one design this time, just to fourth anniversary t-shirt if you want it cool if not cool but um, yeah I think we're gonna do that so I contacted them and we'll see if if we get any good designs so that's that and then you know there might be other stuff um, as well for the uh, stream that we could do so some giveaways um, still looking at my grab bags you know I'm trying to figure out how to do that uh, I'm terrible with stale mail, so I, I need I need guidance when it comes to um, that's what my my guidance counselor used to say. He used to say guidance. I was like, okay, but yeah, I think I need a little guidance on how to like put a bag of shit together and then mail it to people. Also, considering I just got these in the mail today, so just something for conventions, you know, just to give away to people. And uh, if I do grab bags, just put like two pins in, you know, something fun, kind of pointless, but it was cheap enough. So no worries. Um, really decently well made too, actually. Um, extremely easy. I think I got them from, um, oh, where the fuck did I get? Purebutton.com. Let me see. Pure. Purebuttons.com, yeah, it's they they do a really good thing, and uh, a lot of people at PAX and Comic Con use those, and, and that's how you squirt, you know. But they were cheap. You get a hundred for I got a hundred of these for forty bucks, so pretty good deal. Um, okay, so Super Mario Brothers three. Why am I playing this? Some people are wondering what this desire to play the game is. And I have a few reasons. Uh, one, it just came out on the Virtual Console, on the Wii U Virtual Console. So that's that's one. Two, I've been reading this book by movie critic Bob called Super Mario Brothers 3 Brick by Brick. And it's really like making me nostalgic for the game. 
but also giving me kind of a deeper appreciation of why the game is so fondly remembered and why it is considered to be one of the best games of all time. And I always knew it, but this guy articulates it pretty nicely. So I figured, you know what, it's been a few years since I've actually played through the game. And that's, for me, too long. Way too long. I remember when I was a kid, I used to beat Super Mario Brothers 3 like once every few months. It was, yeah, yeah, it was bad. And then like, you know, in between I would do Super Mario 1, Super Mario World, Super Mario 2. Super Mario Brothers All-Stars was one of the greatest things ever for a kid. For just that reason. Just all of the games in one place. How about the theory that Super Mario 3 is all a play? I mean, I'd say that's certainly possible. Because there's set pieces, there are curtains, there are a speed run. No, this is this is me enjoying the game. I don't do speed runs. Other people would be better suited for that kind of thing. We're gonna do the Super Mario Brothers All Stars edition. And I'm using the classic controller pro to play this. So yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Try to do this in um in one go. I don't know if this one's on the Wii U All Stars. Yes! Yes! Alright, so... Dead on the first Goomba. I won't be using warps, no. Just, just gonna appreciate the levels and, and the game. Um... So, so two things, two, two pieces of news. One, I did an interview for a, a, a website called WTB Fun. So if anyone wants to listen to me drone on about the history of the site and my opinions about streaming and such, um, you can go there. WTBFUN.com. Um, I'm sure someone could link it. And um, it went pretty well. It was the, their first interview. It really just was for fun for me. There's a guy from Vine Sauce who wanted to do an interview, so I said, cool. Um, so that's one. Uh, if you want to learn about the history of the stream, that's the best way to do it. Uh, two. Dem did the death reel. If you guys haven't seen it yet, there is a death reel of Champions Road from Super Mario 3D World. So... That is available to watch. It's 15 minutes of me dying, turning into Rick Grimes, Scottish people, David Byrne from the Talking Heads. You like that picture? Yeah, I know, Zorant. Of all the pictures, they chose my sad face from the Twitch video. Or the Comic-Con video. It's amazing. Rusty Cunts shows up quite a few times. Um, I have to give them a ton of credit. That's right, Gray, yeah. I have to give Dem a ton of fucking credit because he, he put that video together. It took him so goddamn long. I love the Noil comment, though, because Rev really did think he was a porn star. It was amazing. So, we're gonna go in depth with the game. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, as I'm doing this, we're gonna be talking about some of the music, some of the level design, the items. Um, just give me one second though, I'll be right with you guys.
Okay, I'm back. And let me get the chat back up. Okay. And... Alright. So... Yeah. This game came out... In Japan. Is, is this game... Is the game too loud? Can you hear me over the game well enough? came out in Japan, 1988, and at the time it was a little harder. Like, for example, if if this game came out two years ago, with YouTube, with all the websites that cover things like this, we would have seen so much footage of it. We would have found clips of the game that would have spoiled the whole thing. People would have played through it. People in America would have the Japanese version. Kinda wasn't like that in 1988. It was kept pretty well under wraps for the most part. Well, not not so much under wraps, but it it wasn't like people were just spoiled it, you know, and, and saw everything about it before it came out. The game eventually did come out in 1990, a mere one year before Super Mario World came out on the Super Nintendo. And um, at the time, I believe this was one of the biggest selling games of all time. This is the All Stars version. Um, Does Vinny realize the stream is dead? Uh, am I dead? No, I'm not. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, the All-Stars version, correct me if I'm wrong, was this 93 that this came out? There was a movie called, um, The Wizard. I don't know if anyone remembers it. But, yeah, The Wizard was basically a movie that was designed to showcase, like, two minutes of footage from this game. I didn't like The Wizard. I, I didn't see it when I was a kid, so I didn't, you know, I didn't really care for it um, when I did see it eventually. But The Wizard is pretty much an advertisement for this game. You had to sit through this Fred Savage, you know, at the time it was just like buzzwords everywhere. Rad! Let's use the power glove! Um, it's fun. It's fun to watch. But you watch it and then, you know, most people saw it because they heard there was going to be footage of this game in it. And it was only like a minute and a half to two minutes of really, really <laughs> cut quick footage. So, yeah, that's... There you go. It's a bit of history. But I remember um, when this game came out, I was five. I was a huge Mario fan, and... I used to watch the Super Show constantly. And when it came out, it was just in my system. For months. My cousin and I used to play it. He was way better at video games. He's nine years older than me. Um, but yeah, we finally beat the game, and it, it took a while, but we just kept beating it over and over again. Like, beat it, and then like go back to it next week and beat it again. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think I would consider this to be my favorite Mario game. Oh, oh god. world is great, too. Don't get me wrong, but I, I miss the power-ups. The level design in world is amazing, but I, I miss all the wacky power-ups. Oh! Oh, oh, oh fuck. Hey, Alex from the robot. Oh wait, no, that's Calvin. 
Robot Loves Kitty. Is that Calvin's account? Yes. I, I always forget. Is it Alex or... Oh, it is Calvin. Okay. Hey, Cal. How you doing? Cal, it was nice to meet you at PAX. Um... I did uh, a, a quick interview with Alex, so you guys are going to be getting a nice shout out in our video. Oh, come on. Damn. Yeah, it, it might be mine too. I mean, I, I go back and forth between this Super Metroid Chrono Trigger and Ocarina of Time. Even though Ocarina is not my favorite Zelda game, it might, you know. It switches. My Zelda games, they switch between, like, Zelda 2. I know, I get a lot of shit for that. Um, Link to the Past and Ocarina. And Majora's up there, too, but it's so fucking hard to choose. Ocarina of Time is a bit overhyped, but I'll, I'll tell you what, man. When that game came out, it was just insane. Um, I played, I've played um, Super Metroid on stream like three times. I would say. Oh shit! Whoops. You need an admin on the Twitch chat. What's what's going on? Why? If, if anyone has admin on Twitch, can you just check it out and see what's going on? Thanks. So, as I'm reading this book, and I'm reading about all the enemies, and, and just the way the levels were, were created, it just... It reminds me that I remember so many of these levels. Maybe because I've played it a thousand times, but maybe because they were just that good. I'm not sure. Also, Calvin, how do you feel about the um, All-Stars version? I know it's not too much different, but um, if, you, <clears throat> if you had a preference, if you had to choose one, the original or this, which one would you choose? Some people choose the NES version for the music, you know, the pixelated, pixelated music. Wow. Did I really just say that? I, I would go with this one, but only narrowly, narrowly beating out the NES original. Because this one gets rid of some of the screen pop-in. And like the screen tearing and, and like the graphical glitches and stuff. It's got really nice backgrounds. It just looks great. I think the music isn't perfect. Like I have an issue with some of the instrumentation. But I, I still have like a soft spot for it. Because of... Um, I grew up with this as well. So it's, it's kind of hard to say. But I would stick with this one for just a few small reasons. Yeah. We're old men now, Cal. Get off my lawn. Get off my plane. It's almost weird playing a Mario game without a spin jump. Like, I keep expecting the other button to do the spin jump. And that mechanic was only in a few games, right? I mean, mostly Super Mario World. That was the one it was introduced in. And, uh, yeah, I keep thinking that I'm going to do a spin jump. It's weird. Here's a question for you. Is this Toad? Or is it just a random denizen of the Mushroom Kingdom? And by that token, is this 
the same toad as the one who is in every other mushroom house? Or are they all different? What if this guy just goes between different mushroom houses? Like he just shows up at one, and then when Mario's done there, he just runs real quick to the next world and hangs out there. Oh, it's Greg, sorry. That, that's, I, that toad's name was Greg. I will be naming each toad that we come across. I don't think I played Super Mario Adventure. Super Mario Adventure. Um, maybe? What, what is that? What is Super Mario Adventure? It's not like Mario teaches typing, right? Or it's, it's not like on the Philips CDI or anything like that, right? Um, oh, okay. <coughs> Maybe I'll check it out. These cannonballs are actually the second instance of... Sorry. Hang on a sec. Are the second instance of non-living ammo. Because bullet bills are alive. You know. I, I don't know if there's more than that. Well, fireballs don't really count. Okay, so never mind. But I think the book made the statement that Super Mario 2 had cannons that shot, like, white pellets, even though it was snakes that just spit them out. And, um, yeah. The cannonballs are alive, man. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not alive, rather. You know what? Fuck it, they are alive. Everything's alive. It all has eyes. This game has a bad case of googly eye syndrome. Even the hills have eyes, Jesus. So, I'm not sure if this is Iggy Koopa. But some of the Koopalings have interesting names. There's uh, Lemmy. There's Iggy. There's um, Ludwig. They're named after, like, celebrities and uh, musicians. No, it's not Joel. Larry. Larry was named after Larry David, even though he wasn't, like, a thing back when it came out. Thanks, Peach. I might goof the last boss. That's right. Um, yeah, last time I streamed this, and probably the time before that, I goofed the last boss pretty hard, and I got, like, really fed up with the game. I don't remember if I quit or just, like, said fuck it, but, yeah. Oh, come on. Gotta, gotta jump on the things. It's important. Very important. Fall play. Very important. Very important. Bizarre fire enemies. Just, just living fire. One of the things that kept me playing was the fact that there was so many secrets. Like, I would play the game three years after I first completed it, and I would still find little, like, secrets. Maybe not entire secret worlds or anything like that, obviously, but, you know, like a, a hidden one-up block, or a hidden power-up, or like a pipe that took you to, like, an underwater area to get, like, a tanuki suit or something. So I would spend a lot of time just exploring every detail of every level. And eventually, I found almost everything. But then there was that fucking coin ship. You know, I didn't know how to get the coin ship until years later, and I still don't really fully know how to do it. Please, Mr. Fire. Mr. Mr. Fire, please. Oh, there wasn't a thing there. There's a secret in the sky on this level, and I'm not gonna get it, because I don't have, uh... I don't have... thing. Raccoon. 
The sand pit that leads to a power-up area, yeah. There was a point where I actually memorized the layouts of these. Oh, wow. Okay. Poop. Poop. Okay. The Ninth World Rumor as a kid? No, I never, I never heard that one as a kid. I'm gonna try to knock out the whole game tonight. I used to know the rhythm to this, but I just, I lost it. Now it's more or less just a random event. Quit because Bowser's death killed you, and then you used a warp whistle because chat said it brings you to Bowser, and then you rage quit. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I did remember that. Yes. Yes. So last time I streamed this, I got to Bowser. Bowser was about to die. Or should I say King Koopa. Oh, there's a secret over here, isn't there? Guys, what's the secret of this area? There's, there's something, isn't there? I want to do it, because I don't think I've ever done it. I might do this in one stream. I might come back to it. We'll, we'll see. I gotta see how much time I have. Um, I- you need to- okay. You need to get all the coins to get a white toad house. Gotta lick that white toad horse shit. Stationary coins. So you're, you're talking about the- I have to, like, use the thing, right? You have to get all the coins in one run. That is something that I've never done when I was younger, and I only learned about this trick within the last, like, year. I really want to try it, though. Okay, all the coins. Where's the P-Block, man? I forgot where the P-Block was. No, it's, it's, it's too late now, man. I just destroyed one of the blocks. I gotta die. Seriously, though, where's the P-Block again? It's, it was in the bricks. Which bricks? Is it this one? Yep, it's that one. Alright. Alright, let's try it one more time. I've corrupted Mario 3 one day. Also, I love you Vinny1111. Can you change your name? It's so fucking obnoxious. Thank you though, I mean, you know, it's appreciated. Just, like, maybe... Cho maybe choose a real name. So, like, Squart or something. Squishy fart, you know. That's that's a tough one right there. You gotta be real quick for that, huh? Uh, did I get it? No, I missed that last one. Alright. I'm going again. I'm going again. get this white mushroom house. I don't even know why. There's there's no good reason for me to want to do this, but... Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you! No.
Did you know that a kappa was actually an ancient Japanese turtle god? And that's probably where the, the term Koopa comes from. You've got to be fucking fast! Real fucking fast, huh? You've got to run, bloody. Got them. Alright, now I go back and get the other ones, right? Some Nomer, see ya. You're, you're really annoying. Okay. Oh, there it is. Wow. Wow. How many years is, has it been since this game came out? And this is the first time I've seen this mushroom house. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, well, not really. An anchor? Well... I don't really need... an anchor. But, you know, now that I have one, that's pretty cool. East, West, Swag, I do look at both chats. Um, please kill the caps, the pink text, the big font, and the underline. If, if possible. If that's just who you are, that's how you express yourself, well then, you know, that, that, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I've ever had an anchor in my inventory. 24 years later, or something like that. And now, if only we could get the coin ship. You need coins in a multiple of 11, with your point total to be the same amount, I believe. And then you need to, while you also, what? What else do you need to do? There was another thing, wasn't there? It says in the book, I'll get my book to see how we can get the coin ship. Maybe maybe I'll try to get the coin ship too. I only ever saw the coin ship like once as a kid. I need to beat the Elite Four ten times. Oh, okay. Okay, it says here. Uh, to get the coin ship. The treasure ship. It says the rarest occurrence in the game. Treasure ships appear in place of the Hammer Brothers on map screens of level 1, 3, 5, 6. If a level is completed um, with the coin total as a multiple of 11, the tens place of the score matching the said multiple of 11 with the timer stopped on an even number. The ships appear on the map as pure white sailing vessels with the Japanese kanji treasure uh, character for treasure on their sails. Okay. Alright, so that's not happening. Let me, let me click 
click this link. Treasure ship. The player must be in Grassland, Seaside, Sky, or Iceland. The Hammer Brothers must be on the map. Must finish stage uh, multiple of 11. The tens digit must match. Timer must be stopped on an even number, set the number of points received. It's a multiple of 100. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Yeah. Now, no wonder I've only ever seen it, like, once. It's also Easter tomorrow, and 420, oddly enough. And I remember playing this game with my family on Easter. So I have some other reasoning to play this at the time I am. Just I have some nostalgia for it around now. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, I didn't know you could get him with your tail. I probably did know that, but forgot. It's a, it's a smorgasbord of, of pain. Fuck your pyramid! Fuck your pyramid! Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck, the Koopa got stuck. I can use whatever words I goddamn well please, Joel. Smorgasbord is not your word. Just like pizza pasta isn't my word. I used a good word yesterday. My friend Mike and I were on the phone. And he's asking me, it's peed season, right? This is the time where house centipedes start showing up. And he was like, you seen your first varmint yet? I said, uh, nope, not yet. And we started talking about, like, um, I, I had these strips, these sticky strips that I put down around, um, the door where the peds come in. And, um, and, and it's spiders, too. A lot of spiders as well. And, uh, you know, because I'm in a basement, so... Okay, that makes sense. Oh, great. I got rid of Turtle Bros. I, I need this Turtle Bro. So, I said, um, when I opened the door and I checked the strip... There was multiple strips, actually. When I checked the strips, I said it was a menagerie of spiders and peds. So that's... If, if you're ever looking for a ped menagerie, come on over to Vinny's. I got plenty of them for you. You can choose which one's the tastiest. Mmm. Spiders and peds. Mm -mm. Yes, I am legit in a basement. Uh, after Hurricane Irene, it was destroyed and it was turned into a very modern, nice apartment. It's It does not feel like a basement at all. But yeah, technically I am a basement dweller. Time to laugh at the basement dweller. But it is, I do own the house, and I could move to other places of the house. I'm, I'm le legitimately, like, really comfortable down here. It's, it's nice. I like it. So. Why would I do that? Well, I knew that was there. Fuck. 
did I did that completely wrong. And I knew what I was supposed to do right. Oh no. The terror of disguise. I hated this level as a kid. East Wegg Swegg, thank you for changing your font style and text and everything. I, I after I asked you to do so. Appreciate it. Yeah, the rest of the... I, I'm, uh, I'm not going to answer questions about my house at the moment. We'll talk about Mario. I'll talk about house another time. Oh, God damn it. Someone said, the Chris G just said, at the moment, I'm the only Italian watching the stream. Somehow I doubt that. Oh, I love this level. I... I fucking loved this level when I was younger. I always felt like a genius when I did that. I was like, oh man, I'm so smart. I, I can outsmart the game. as many lives as I can for the final world, because after the last time, yeah, it's pretty, forget where the, there it is, god damn it, lost it, fucking, it's too late now, mate. I know there's a lot of people here right now, and I know most of you that have played this probably are aware of this secret, but if you're not, you should check this out. You get the hammer, you use it here. What's this? Red fire bro and a shroom, and, and lakes in the shape of a three. I guarantee there's at least a few people that didn't know about this. And you get a frog suit. No matter what, frog. Fro frog condom suit. Oddly enough, one of the few times the fire bros appear together, even though they call them fire bros. Yeah, so this is a real secret. This is a real thing. I found this out by accident with my cousin when I was younger. And I've been doing it ever since. You want to see an illusion? I always thought that those were potatoes. Like the backgrounds of the All Stars version looked odd to me because they just reminded me of potatoes. Where's Darren?
in the um, NES version, there were two little dots that you can just barely make out that were right there and are usually in a few other locations where you can hit uh, invisible item blocks. Not a button I meant to press. Oh no, now I saved it. Uh oh. Well, if I hit the button by accident, it's all over. I'm, I'm putting my, my fingers firmly behind the controller. This level did give me a lot of problems when I was a kid. If you know, if you didn't have the raccoon suit, you would you would definitely have a problem. I thought that um when I was a kid, I thought there was a way to get to those, those other pyramids, and I was like, oh, there's probably, like, a, a new level. I was, yes, Joel, I went to Sweden wearing my Super Mario hat in an attempt to steal your McNuggies, clearly. You choked on a rib? Oh, Joel, I'm, I'm everywhere. You should know this. I'm omniscient and omnipotent, to com combined with piss. Omnipistent. That's that's a little bit better than both of those. According to the book about Super Mario, there's a story that um, this chain chomp was directly inspired by uh, Shigeru Miyamoto's youth where um, he was a kid and like there would be a neighbor's dog that would try to bite his balls but since it was just on the chain it barely didn't reach him all the little secret rooms. Yeah. No, not specifically his balls. I threw that in to spice it up. You know? A little spice. It wasn't just his balls that the dog was after, I would assume. Yeah, if they tug like 99 times, they will come free. Now listen! If you take that sentence out of context, you got something a little bit weird. So that's why I'm going to ask you not to take that sentence out of context and just understand what it was. If, if you let them tug for a while, they will come free. I'm better at this game than I am Super Mario Bros. X is because the Super Mario Bros. X engine is a little bit looser. But also, um, I know the levels really well in this game. I just, you know, 
It's almost muscle memory. So my friend Tyler came by last uh, two nights ago, and we um we we drank some chocolate beer. I only had a few because it's fucking ten percent alcohol by volume. I was talking about it yesterday. It's insane. But um, you know he's the guy that likes Domino's, even though we have like a ton of really good pizza. But we ordered Domino's, and I, I was like, "So you're hungry?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Well, what do you want to get? You want to get Domingos?" So, now Domino's is forever Domingo's. And this is how the, the English language gets bastardized by myself and my friends. We add R's onto, like, everything. Like, enjoy for a long time was just injure. I think I'm, like, brain damaged. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Kerns. I like to collect kerns in Super Mario. Always gotta jump for the wand, by the way. That's very important. Always gotta jump for the wand. East, West, Swag. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Could you please lower the caps? Just, just get rid of the caps. What other places did we completely get wrong on purpose? Oh shit, I can't even really think. What made my what made me buy the book about Super Mario Brothers 3? Because it had a good cover, it had a good um back, and uh <laughs> I agree, Calvin. Um and it was only eight bucks at PAX. So I said, you know what? I'm interested. If someone's gonna really analyze every detail of this game, then I'm gonna read it. KY okay, well, sold it. Really? Did you, you you sold it to me? Well, not sold it to me. You sold me on the idea. I don't, I don't remember that. Um, also, is this a frog suit level? Is there like a hidden pipe? That requires Ferg. So there's another example. Ferg. Alright, feathers, I'm ready to Ferg. Oh, you picked it up and showed it to me, right? right. saw both of those things happening, and yet, I persisted. Um, I answered that question earlier, Restar. I, I really, really did. I, at one point, Super Mario World was my favorite, but now I would say Super Mario 3 is my favorite. Even though, both of them spent pretty decent amount of time as my favorite Mario game, I would still prefer this one because I love all the power-ups and I love the, uh, oh, here we go. This is, this is where Ferg is required. Right here. Do you see now? Ferg. Oh, it's too late. I don't remember what was down there, actually. No, I, I would say um, Super Mario 3 is my favorite, um, and I definitely have a hard time choosing between the two, but I, I do like the world map on this better. I like all the little hidden stuff. I need Dixie to fight the current, yeah. What, um, 
I, I wonder what was what was in there. I don't remember exactly. Oh, we're we're getting to the point where we're gonna see big fish. Fuck. This is an example of how not to do a level correct. I'm gonna do this again. Ah, fuck it. You can- oh, oh, too late. If you're good, you can chain stars. Oh, fuck, yes. Good. Go away. We don't need it. I don't need the platform. I don't know if it respawns. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. See, so you go like this. You go like that. You go like that. And you just chain the stars and jump back to the platform. And that way you can just tell the fish to fuck off. They can't hurt you. And now they can hurt you. Fuck. Oh! Anyway, is this a pow? Or is it like an eye? Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, I need that! Fuck! Not worth it. Not worth it, mate. Not worth it. You've got to just keep fucking going. Not worth it, mate. This, yeah, this, this level can be a bitch, but that's why I'm not falling into the water this time. That is what killed me so many times as a kid. Just falling in water. If you do level right, it's no problem. It's just once you're down there, you're fucked. Also, I believe there was a secret exit up here, right? Or not an exit, rather, but like, um, just a secret. Some coins and some shite. Yeah, there you go. Some coins. There's, yeah, platforms that move around. Dem's death reel was amazing. The amount of hard work you put into that just blew my mind. Really? I thought that was it. Okay. It's that one? Oh, fuck. what years of pot abuse will do to you. You just forget pertinent card information. Back when I was in college, I should have been learning, but I was burning. Don't do that, kids. Celebrate 420 responsibly. Smoke a fat doobie, man. You're smoking dog shit, man? Oh, no, the turtle came back to life. Oh! Oh, hey there, fish. That gave me nightmares when I was a small child. Oh, you want my... You want my McNuggies, don't you?
How about, how about this? How about if you're brave enough to go over this way? <laughs> and get the one up? How about that shit? Right into the fish's mouth. No, okay, good. Still, more of a clench moment than almost anything else in video games to this very day. You actually needed one-ups in this game. You know how in like New Super Mario Brothers or even Mario 3D World, even Donkey, you'll be on World 3 and you'll have 75 lives. Oh, the mic is crackling. That's not on my end. I don't hear it. I don't know why it's crackling. I mean, maybe it's... Usually I hear all the crackles. But yeah, I'm in World 3, I've been doing reasonably okay, and I have 13 lives. Meanwhile, if you were playing this for the first time when you're a small child, you would have probably continued like three or four times by now. And yet, Nintendo games these days... Yoshi's New Island, how about that one? 175 lives in the first world. Maybe not that much, but you, you get the idea. Sixth door is one, two. Well, I know what it looks like. Three. I remember it visually, but not the number. Four, five, six. Yeah. There's like another door you could go in where you could get like an item or something, but. Man, growing up was was fun because you, you could play the game and then there was a TV show. And, and like the Super Show was, was campy as fuck, but it was really fun. But then, the Super Mario Brothers 3 TV show was... I liked that one a lot because I felt like it actually took a lot of stuff from the, sh from the game. Where the Super Show was just kind of like a grab bag of pop culture and history references. And it was like, Captain Lou, I love you and everything, but, you know, what the fuck is going on here? The Super Mario 3 show actually legitimately tried to be a video game TV show, in, in my opinion. Though there was some loathsome music. Some motherfucker decided to write, like, singles for the Koopa kids to sing. Oh, goddammit. And they sang so poorly. It, it sounded like like someone with a throat lozenge stuck in their throat. Just... Bleh. It's me, the Koopa Kids! We're gonna sing a Michael Jackson song! Fuck off, you bloody shite. I'll fight any man! A rat pies in your bastard for fucking trying to sing the Koopa Kids songs to me these days! There is, um, a thing in the sky, in this level. Yeah, it's like you gotta... Fuck. You gotta go all the way up into the sky. It's probably like a one-up, or just some coins. The secret areas in this game weren't exactly... You know, it wasn't like, oh, here's a stamp, or, um, you know, here's a, uh, 
a multicolored, vibrating, photonic sh drildo. You know, it was more, um... Here's an extra life because you're gonna need it, asshole. Or here's some coins because you're gonna need them too, asshole. Also, every 80,000 points you collect, you get the uh, card game. So, because of the game's relatively punishing difficulty, it, it was, it's not too hard, but because the game actually poses a challenge, you actually want to collect coins. And even though the secret areas don't have stamps that you could, like, put on your wanger, you still got, um... You know, y you get some extra lives. And that's why Mario Brothers 3, for that reason, is good. So let us recap in bullet point form. Uh, no drill does. Stamps for your wanger are out. And hard. Very hard. Turgid. Easton, uh, West, I believe your name is. Thank you for actually turning your caps off. I appreciate it. You've, you've proven your worth. Oh, there we go. There is 80,000 points. Now, now get ready for me to fuck all of this up. Wait a minute. God damn it, why do I keep thinking there's a mushroom in there? This, I believe, is a frog level. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone know, is, is that the pipe that you can go in as a frog? come back to that. So I love this. I used to take the boat, try to like look for secrets and stuff. Guns is in the current Humble Bundle. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. What else is in that Humble Bundle? Check that out. Real Texas. Well, those are, uh, unlockables or what? Tower of Guns is, like, $10 or more. Okay, so you, that's, that's a good deal. Oh, Legend of Dungeon! So you can get Legend of Dungeon and Tower of Guns for 10 bucks, as well as Crunch, Foul Play, Dungeon Hearts, Cryptic C, EP, and Real Text. I don't know what any of those other games are. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty good. Dungeon Hearts. Well, maybe I'll check out Dungeon Hearts sometime. I don't understand, like, this this whole game, when you see Mario and Toad, you see them just in sprite form. Like, they're game sprites. And then when you do these things, they're fucking, like, real people. What is this? Why are they real people? Why is Mario a midget? Like, I don't understand. Like, just leave them like this. Fucking weird and unsettling, and I don't like it. Oh, uh, 
Oh, I hear the crackle. That's the game, guys. That's not my microphone. That's actually the game. That's a lot of fire flowers. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys I unlocked the Crystal Cruiser today in FTL. You have no idea how happy I am. I told KY when I got the stasis pod, and then a little bit later, I hit up the Zoltan study, and then Rock Home Worlds. Then I went to the, the Crystal Worlds, and I, and I actually got the fucking thing. I was so happy. And then I beat the game with the Mantis B, and got Mantis... Oh, wait, no, with Mantis C, and got, um... Um... Slug, Slug Cruiser. So I'm, I'm working my way through getting all the ships, and uh, Port KY spent 80 hours getting Crystal Cruiser. Is, is that it right there? See ya, Joel. Is, is that where I use the frog? You know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. This, this fish keeps trying to eat its children. Oh, fuck. This is the wrong place. Oh, no. Or maybe it is the right place. I, I, I seem to recall there being a pipe that one needed the frog suit to enter. Could this be it? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay. I fucked it up. You gotta be shitting me. Back in, Chief. Did, yo, did I just go through the block? This frog suit is wonky, man. It just went through the block diagonally. I did not expect for that to work, by the way. Usually, you have to exit a level and restart, you know, and go back into it if you want to uh, re-enter a pipe, but it, I guess... Uh, the gods were good on this day. Fucking beautiful and cute, I'm a frog. And, and now I have to do this level as a frog. This is gonna be brilliant. I don't give a shit, I'm not getting the item. I'm doing it as a frog. Go frog or go home. Oh, 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 temporary respite from the frog when you lift things. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Oh, that was an accident! I've never been so pissed get a, an item that actually is going to help me. Mm, little frog fella. Mm. Freg. Freg has gone. Progress in Super Mario 3. If you get all the coins on this stage, a white toad appears here too. Oh. Is it another anchor, Chick? Because if, if so, it's not really worth it. I got one. I'm good. Yeah, this, this level was always interesting for me, because uh, it's almost totally unique in the whole game. You, you don't see this tile set. Or maybe you do. That's a piece of trivia. I, is this tile set available anywhere else in the game? I mean, these enemies, are they completely unique to this level as well? The previous stage. Rum ham! Whoa! Where'd you come from?
38 is where you get the White House with enough coins. It, it is to totally unique. Um, I wonder, is that White Toad House also an anchor? That's what I'm curious about. I like how George R. R. Martin, in interviews, he, he talks about um, Staten Island, because he was from Bayonne, which is across the, uh, the river from Staten Island, that's where I live. And um, for him, he used to watch the boats go through the river, the, I, it's not the Hudson, but it's a river, or, or, you know, and he used to watch them sail out to sea and stuff, and he used to think about like, you know, what it would be like in a medieval port. So, in a way, he actually credits his creation of Westeros from watching Staten Island. And, like, you, then you get here, you come to Staten Island, and it's like, instead of, instead of, like, you know, medieval, like, fantasy stuff, you get orange dwarves with giant tits. You get men with mohawks and muscles that only care about their muscles and car. It almost is like a fantasy land, actually, now that I think about it. You get shitty drivers. You, you get the dump, which is closed now, but... Yeah, there was a dump for it. We had the world's largest landfill. It smelled like ass. It was getting people sick. So that was great. But yeah, my, my place where I live... actually... inspired... Westeros. Vinny, white mushroom houses in worlds 1, 3, 5, 7 have P wings. In world 2, 4, 6, they have anchors. I didn't even know there was more than one white PP. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to neglect the other white mushroom houses because that's just going to take too goddamn long. Part of me wants to know know which other which specific levels have the white mushroom houses and then other parts of me just don't care also how about that shit look look at these fucking enemies i always hated these guys but again this is another really unique enemy that you don't really see a whole lot also i think it was in the instruction manual of super mario 3 if i remember correctly that boos weren't just called boos they were called boo diddly based on the uh, guitarist. Fuck! It says in my big book of Mario 3 facts. That's that is clearly the best way to avoid. It, it is really, it's astounding. I noticed that I'm better as Big Mario as opposed to Babby Mario. Simply because the confidence I, that I can take a hit influences my playing. When I'm Babby Mario and I know that one hit means I'm dead, I end up playing shittier. Anyone else? 
Not always, but yeah, it, it happens, I would say, most- okay. Well, it wouldn't be a Mario 3 stream unless I got eaten by big uh, fish lips at least once. Small Mario, I believe, is handy on this level as well, because because you can. I think there's a, an area that you fit in that only only Baby Mario fits in. This is what I like to call clench level design. Broadcasters, ingest issues are resolved. Viewers, you may experience a black screen as we push a video update. No need to refresh. I just got that message from Twitch just now. So if you guys get a black screen, don't refresh the page. Just, you know, deal with it, I suppose. Oh, oh, God. Oh my God, I'm in a prison! This level, man. This, this fucking level. Well, shit. I have that mushroom now, fish. Can you, like, stop trying to, like, cock-block me from my mushroom? I know that sounds weird. Again, out of context. Out of context quotes will we'll get you nowhere in life, my friend. Oh! Oh! Oh, fish, please! Oh, I'm gonna be pooping diamonds tonight. What? what? He got killed and he came back instantly! Fuck this. Fuck this. Yeah, I don't I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. I'm leaving. This is a level that has a... Oh, oh, okay. That's nice, Mr. Goomba. You're able to just do that and live through it. Come on, get these fucking baby Goombas off.
Oh! Fucking god damn it, I need a bomb. Give me the bomb. Kill me. I'll just bring this this jerk with me. You know? Bring this jerk. Bring this jerk. Look at that. Easy. Easy peasy beautiful. Lamenting the loss of, of, um, intellectualized YouTube poop, YouTube poop. Is that what's happening in the chat right now? And I did it again. I, I always forget to press right. I guess we're going back to get it. Maybe, maybe I still can, I don't know. Oh no, oh, oh fish! Only platformers, only platformers do this to me. I'm like, cool as a cucumber, calm and collected every other video game. And then you give me a platform and I turn into fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. That analogy doesn't make any sense, but... Who else was a screamer? I can always tell the screamers. I, get I was reading the chat. Guys, I was reading the chat. And the worst part is, I read nothing of substance in the time it took me to miss getting that item yet again. Oh, it's just a frog suit? Really? Maybe they're... Hang on. That was the end of the level? I think I need this frog suit for the next level. I don't remember. Oh. There is no next level. He's a fucking purple dinosaur. And this was before Barney was a thing. Look at, <laughs> look at him. He's bouncing so fast. He's going so quick. Why would I need a frog suit for this level? Like, how is this going to help me? It, it's probably going to make this a little more difficult. So I guess, you know, go frog or go home. Get Ferg. Try to do this entirely with Ferg. You can't duck as a Ferg. Your movement is stilted. Oh, well, that was nice. <laughs> I mean, you 
jumps are pretty good as a perk. That's about it. Like, I was able to do that. That's cool. Fuck. around here? No, I guess not. <sighs> Clench. The clutching! Can I use my anchor now? Like, I don't... I don't want to do this level over. Wendy, give me the bat. Wendy, give me the bat. Wendy? You know what I'm gonna say, Wendy. Brothers 3 and Barney were made in the same year. Are you serious? Super Mario 3 came out in 1988 in Japan. So it was developed in 87. Well, this is the All-Stars version, so he might not have been a purple dinosaur. Whoops. I missed. Vinny is not drunk, loose leaf. I assure you. All of these kings look like Mario. This one looks like a, a Machiolo. Maybe it's just all Mario's cousins. This was my favorite world for a very long time. I, I enjoyed seeing things that were very big. Again, out of context contents. It's totally harmless. Even though Nintendo has revisited the big... <laughs> you may ask yourself! Well... How did I get big? Oh, you bastard, you just... Even though Nintendo has visited and revisited big worlds, I always felt like they never quite got it as good as this one. There's a cool hidden area up there. Face palmed. I lost my big from a football man. 
And here I am. Oh, there it is. I, I always liked these little sky areas. Because they were, like, kind of dumb, but really, I don't know, they were fun. Just kind of, you know, just like a, a floating sky waterfall. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't need to. I just realized you can't use your tail underwater. Oh, I forgot! You gotta get one mushroom at a time. How the, how the fuck do you even get that? I can't use my raccoon tail for some reason. Maybe the button broke? Oh, I still can't use it. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Newman Biggio. I still get mail from uh, two Newman Biggio in my P.O. box. That is the best name ever. So, I have, for anyone that doesn't know, I have a P.O. box that people send me stuff. If you want to send me stuff, like shitty games, I'm always down for that. Um, you know, just stuff maybe I could watch or stream, or involve the stream in some way. Uh, in any case, yeah, so, Newman Biggio is, I don't know who this man is, but he owned my P.O. box before I did, and I still get mail addressed to Newman Biggio, and I, it makes me giggle every time. No, no, no. N-E-W-M-A-N-B-I-G-G-E-O. Um, if you want to... Here's how I do the P.O. Box thing. You tell me what you're gonna send me, and if, if it's something that is either too expensive, or something I know I won't stream, or I already have, I tell you that it's it's no good, and I don't give you my P.O. Box. So email me if you want to send me something, potentially. Hello, Newman Biggio. Welcome to the stream. Of course, I should have known telling this story. A Newman Biggio would appear. A third Biggio appears. Also, I like how this fish is actually a little pun. Because in the small worlds, he was a big fish. It was Big Bertha. But in, in Big World, it's little fish. It, it makes me laugh. I know they're called cheap cheap cheeps, by the way. I call them fish, because that's what they are. If you could believe it. Newman Biggio wants his stuff back. Guys, should I give it back to him? It's in the garbage. I don't know why you were subscribed to Vanity Fair, but, you know, if, if you really want that, it's, it's in the trash. So you're gonna have to dig that out. Newman. Official Biggio? Is, is there a man in chat named Official Biggio? <laughs> That's great. Oh. There's a Mr. Biggio, there's the real Biggio, there's Newman Biggio, there's Official Biggio, Jesus Christ. That Seriously, with that name, if you don't have a big cock, I'll be disappointed. Seriously. How the fuck do you get such a a big name? It just sounds like a big man. You know what it? Re this is what I picture Newman Biggio looking like.
I'll show you. If, if you just give me a moment. This right here. That that is how I picture Newman Biggio. Just a, a big man in a big suit. David Byrne from the Talking Heads for that image. I'll tell you later. Now, Mr. Byrne, do you feel like you're looking more and more like Newman Biggio these days? I don't know. I'll tell you later. Oldman Biggio. I should have seen that one coming. Super Biggio Bros. Oh, I see. Illegitimate Biggio. I see. Good. Great. Good. You guys having fun? You fucking shitlords. <laughs> in this one. Seriously, this is the fastest a boo ever was, I think. It's in this game right here. Oh, Oldman Smolio is here now. Good, good. And never tell stories on stream. That's what I've learned from today. Let's talk about things that can't be, in any way, shape, or form, form uh, turned into something different, or, or spammy, or shitty. Alright, let's talk about... Strawberries. A simple topic, for a simple chat room. I'll tell you later. Press button fast. Get one of each. Never press button fast again. This... Yes, this was a frog level. Yes, indeed. Looks like I'll be taking one for the team. Did you watch the documentary, Darren? Did you the documentary about Simon, Simon O'Dowell and Junkie Joe Joyce, the Joyce Bastards? Simon O'Dowell fed your rat poison, you fucking bastard. You dirty bastard, Junkie's bastard. Paisan. Paisan. Paisanos. I fed you Paisanos. Shit. I wanted more coins. Oh, well. Oh, great. I missed top layer. It's fine. We are Big Yo. Prepare to be assimilated. Tanuki suit there. I, I recall one of the frog 
entryways giving me access to a tanuki suit. Should be black screen because Twitch is doing a thing and they're fixing something. So, just calm down. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know. Twitch adjusting, yes. yes. It's, it's all right now, my chillings. I'm in the mood for a, a pie. What's that pie place? That's in uh, Manhattan. Yeah, it's like a chain. Not like, um, you know, I'm talking about meat pies. It's like an Australian place. What was that place called? Not Pie Hatton. I'll tell you later. Uh, love meat pies. What the fuck is it called, though? Not Big Eo's Pie Emporium. <laughs> and definitely not Big Eo's Cream Pies. Ah, oh, fucking hell. anyone wants to be a detective and try to help me figure out the name of this place. Um, they're all over the place. There's a bunch in Manhattan. It's like, uh, they got a smiley face for a logo. Pie face. Wait, no. Wait, pie face. No. No tuck shop. Is it pie face? It might be pie face. <laughs> I think. How would I not remember that? They <laughs> have a smiley face. Of course they're fucking called pie face. Maybe it is pie face. Or maybe it's not pie face. I don't fucking know. Shit. Yep, it's pie face. Thank you. I don't know why I'm using this item. Just don't remember if there's stuff up here. Yep, pie face, that's the one. They were fucking delicious. I got bacon, egg, and cheese pie. I got, like, cheesesteak pie. Um, they have really good beef pie. It's just everything. It's just so good. I, I got, like, three of or four of them after Comic-Con. Didn't, uh, KY, I don't know if you're still here. But if KY is still here, then... Didn't me, you, and Tyler get that place after uh, Comic-Con? Well, it's 
nice out. Maybe maybe I'll go all the way to Manhattan just to get myself a, a meat pie. Jester's Jaffe? Or Jester's Jaffle? KY, we went to Pie Face after Comic Con, right? With Tyler? That was the name of it? Pie Face? Tanuki suit, lose it immediately. <sighs> See, now I'm just not paying attention to the game. Now I'm just wasting and squandering items that are, are good. Squanders. That's a good place. We should we should start a vine sauce like eatery and just call it squand dogs. We'll sell meat pies, cream pies, big yo pies. There is a trick to this. It's as soon as you see it, you gotta press the button. I'm doing quite the opposite, however. Next time I hit one of those, I'll be good. That jump caused me so much heartache when I was younger. That is like a perfect... You have to be perfect with your momentum. It is a pixel-perfect jump. And it is annoying. I'm telling you, the, the crackling is the game. I hear it too now. I know I, it doesn't really sound that bad, but... Maybe I can... Maybe I can get rid of it. I think it might be the sound sync. Channels. Buffer length. Playback rate. Try to lower it a bit. now. Should be alright. Oh, that's shitty -o. What's up, study guy? Mushrooms, right? It's good. If I could, I would fly up there, but I, I can't, so I'm not. Fucking MLG style. Oh shit! I forgot. 
forgot that you could do that with that guy. He just exploded. Oh, it's, it's Donkey Kong Jr. I remember back in the early SNES days, they were trying to, like, push Donkey Kong Jr. Like, for some unknown, untold reason, he was in Mario Kart, and then, like, there was a cameo just there. I didn't hear it. It's gotten worse. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't hear it. it. I wonder if it's my headphones. All right. Well, now the sound isn't synced. I gotta lower it a bit because it's it's too much. I'll tell you what, if, if it happens again, if the crackle happens again, then we know it's just not going to be... It's not going to be good. No matter what we do. I've been hearing it too, though. I know what you're talking about. It is the game. Because when my headphones crackle, I am, am privy to that sound. And it's beautiful. I love it. I love knowing that my $250 headphones are giving up on me. It makes me so happy. But I hear it. This, I don't hear. Sometimes. Because I'm usually talking over it. It's a wonder that you guys even pick up on it. Um, I have heard it a few times. It's just the audio from the game. Probably because of uh, SNES 9X. It just yeah, starts crackling. I don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, it was the cable. It, it, it's possible that it's the cable. It's not a definite. It's, it's just possible. Jamun. All right, listen. Let's take a quick break. We're going to do a BRB. So you guys hang tight for about five minutes. I'll be right back. Now's a good time to take a bathroom break. Or do whatever it is you got to do. I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Where did my game go? Where's where's the video? Newman 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 Biggio? Guys, I have black screen. Um, I what's I don't know what's happening here. Runtime error. What? Well, fuck you. All I did was minimize the goddamn thing. Fuck you! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me.
No minimize allowed, guys. No minimize. All right? Can't be having any hanky-panky with any minimizing. Or any bullshit like that. I'll tell you later. Well, I, th I think I saved. I mean, doesn't the game save automatically? Soup, no. Oh, that is moist. That is so moist. I'm not okay with this. Looks like we're using the whistle. Alright, I am now placed at a disadvantage. Less lives, less items. This is now hard mode. Fucking hell. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's just a little bit shitty. You know? Lost some good items. A lot of good men. Good men that were lost that day. It's one of the harder secrets. tricky one. This, like, really tests your knowledge of the game mechanics. It's just a shitty music box, though. <laughs> yeah, but hey, the level's done, so... This is gonna definitely place me at a slight disadvantage for the later levels. I had like an extra seven lives that would have been good to have, but we press on. At the very least, I had my whistles. Gosh, you little bastard. Flexes. Oh, I don't know if that's a guaranteed Taniki suit. I don't remember, but that's good. It's like choose your poison, level or castle. Level. This level has the shoe. Get you. All right, you gotta do that. I was always sad that the shoe was only in one level, and you couldn't take it with you when you finished it. 
but they brought this back, right? I mean, it was in a few Mario games, or... Uh, I, I know 3D World had the one shoe with the ice skates on it. Munchers. Those little guys down there are called munchers. I call them dick clams. If you weren't here for the beginnings of this stream, I used to stream a lot of, um, Kaizo ROM hacks, which were basically the hardest levels in Super Mario World that man could conceive, yet still complete. Obviously with a lot of save states. And the dick clams were always my worst enemy. Totally sure if I'm gonna do this in one sitting yet. <laughs> yeah, there's Pee Wee Herman playing the piano. There's a lot of that. Hey, boys and girls, it's me, Pee Wee. Today we're gonna talk about dick clams, huh? One frame, I was stuck on the block. Like, I was stuck on the side of it. frames in this game. did I do this when I was a kid?
my head was stuck in a block for a second. That was cool. songs and even the game itself like the sound effects are in stereo like you can hear the instrumentation in different ears and yet when you're playing it on a tv you probably would never notice that unless you had a like you were sitting directly in front of it and you had very good speakers see you on you domingo's pizza not domino's i don't know what you're talking about it's called domingo's serious you just brought that up i remember digging the world for no reason just, just breaking the world just like tons of people just digging for no reason that's all i remember from worm online Why am I doing this? Oh, you bastard! Fuck! Yeah, there's stuff over there. I discovered that one day. I was like, I'm determined to get this. It's like, good luck getting it without this, though. That's it? It's just one up? Isn't there a P block or something? Wasting that item for a one-up. I thought it was a P-block so I could get all the stuff. Why am I doing this still? Can someone, like, please, please help?
I can't get I can't get out of this this brick cage. Really? Not worth it. Not worth it. I could have sworn there was a P-block somewhere around here. P intensifies. And now I'm in space. Should have got that for the points. What the fuck? Someone just typed something very, very strange in the Twitch chat. I don't, I don't even know how to react to that. Something about. A male and female bear sex slave. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know anymore. I've lost control of my stream. This level pained me when I was a child. cards did I not get? Oh, man. <laughs> the same mistake, like, four times in the same stream. for me. <laughs> yeah, if you run full speed at a uh, block at the end and, and you time it like just right, you'll always get a star. this level with these things that only show up for this level weren't these in in 3d world or was it galaxy 2 or was it new super mario brothers u oh come on i didn't mean to do that just got a downgrade oh fucking hell Is, is there only static when I get loud? Because that could just be my voice that you're talking about. 
It's in it's in Mario U Wii U. Okay. Uh, wow. You know how hard it is to die on one of those enemies. Thanks, Mushroom. Thanks. I needed you. You went the other way. <laughs> Fuck! I hate that guy so much! Oh, this, le this level can eat a dick. This is a fun side area. Just like brought back down to the ground. Kinda cool. Go in. Can you not go in? Useful. Useful stars. So good. So useful. That only happens for that for the toad rooms. It, it, it's only toad rooms and like card rooms that it crackles like that, right? Yeah, that's that's the game's fault. I, I have no idea what I could do about that. Uh, the Mario Golf demo is not out. It, it's out in the U.S. You sure about that? I think it was. Last I checked, it was out only in uh, your your rope. Oh, the end of the level crackles as well. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Again, I'd like to apologize. Okay. I'll be getting Kirby and Mario Golf. Good. Every time. Just, if you know it's coming, just, just mute stream or something, or lower your volume. I, I wish I could fix it.
Rusty Cantare. I die more. Let's say. Shick, what are you talking about? You're, you're telling me I should turn off the TV effect and that would fix the uh, audio issues? Night, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Well, let's let's see if it fixes the crackle then. If maybe this will fix the crackle. this level with all of my heart. Those guys are so goddamn annoying. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. It's so short, too. I mean, when you play a game like... Schlonky Dong, Tropical Freeze, High Gross, and, and you, you see how long the levels are. These levels are like one-fourth the size of those levels. It's insane. Like, you don't realize how short they are until you replay it years later. decided that I am not going to finish this in one go. After this airship, I'm going to get food because I'm hungry. <laughs> and there's still World 6, which I just remembered is very long. There's World 7, which is also very long. And World 8 is just going to be a fucking disaster. So I can, you know, I can do that tomorrow amongst other stuff as well do some multiplayer stuff. And I can also do maybe some Chibi Robo or something like that. But yeah, after this airship, I'm done. Um, tomorrow I'll check out the Mario Golf demo, if it is, in fact, available. Uh, in North America. I didn't see if the guy c confirmed it, or if anyone confirmed it, for that matter. Uh, it, I know it's out EU, but I don't know if it's out in the USA, so we'll find out. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but I'm not going to stream it tonight. I'm too, too goddamn hungry. This is 
Morton. This guy looks like a Mort Morton. Morty, it's me, your mother. How come you don't clean your cum socks? Stick it to your bed! Morty, please! Oh, it's not until the 25th. Right, okay. That's the confirmation I needed. Oh, sorry, that's Roy! Right, Roy Orbison. I thought it was Morton. But yeah, it's- it's- that was Roy. I want to see if this fixed the problem, so I'll do one more level. I'm gonna get to the Crackle card game. And... I think these are called Patui plants, by the way, according to the book. They're not piranha plants, they're Patui plants. Because that's what it looks like they're doing. <laughs> Patui. No, but really, I want to just see if this fixed the uh, crackle. If it did, I'll be amazed that a visual effect would fix crackle. It's bizarre. World World Six was really hard for me when I was younger. This was usually the place I got stuck and gave up. Okay, listen closely. Let me know if there's crackles. crack but not an audio crack <laughs> yeah fuck you no but really you're right though it seemed like it was a smaller one so uh... all right fine 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 all right I'll, I'll come back to it tomorrow I'll just I'll start with that level not a big deal Okay. Um, if you want to find out when we stream, the best way is probably either Vine Watch or, and that's a little bit hard, harder to find, or you can just follow us on Twitter and you will see. So. Uh, all right. Let's do this. Check out the art, and then I'll go. Okay. Um. Okay, so I think we start here. Let me make sure this is... What am I? Yeah. Okay, so this one is from today's stream from BlockDude124. Hey, Greg. Oh, I forgot to name all the goddamn toads. I already told you my name is Maximilian, you worthless, worthless slice of diarrhea. Oh, sorry. Thanks, BlockDude. From ToasterMan3000. ToasterMan man made Vide Sauce. Let me learn how to speak first. Okay. <clears throat> ToasterMan made vine sauce Easter eggs, and they're pretty cool. Thanks, man. I like that. From Olaf Makes Art 2. <laughs> yes, you do, Olaf. From Apparentus, what if Mario was mushroom hands? Mamma Mia Pasta Pizza. From Chibi Cheese Puff, Ferg. From Jay Quaza. What the fuck is this? 
What is wrong with Mario's face? Okay. From Flavius Navius. Back in college, I should have been learning, but I was burning. Celebrate 420 responsibly, kids. From Vinny Pizza Pasta Mozzarella 2014. Yeah. That's, that's one. That's one for the records. Um, there's one from Hootie and Rev's tabletop stream from Mr. Gray. This is too good. I couldn't. Yeah, I, I couldn't uh, let this one go. From Derisori, Vincent Paisuri, 5643. If you let them tug, they will come. Mm -hmm. From McNute to <laughs> move over, brother. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ, McNute. From Paradox Space, here's Strawberry Biggio. God damn it, I knew someone was gonna bastardize a strawberry tonight. From Chibi Cheese Puff, Squan Dogs, where everything is a dick joke. Uh, hot dogs, meat pies, cream pies, tug 99 times and come free. I've lost control of my life. <laughs> From Sergeant Faggot, here's uh, when I squirted at Comic-Con. What, huh? I spent a lot of time thinking about if I'm going to make you squart across the room. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I like my finger's face. That's really good. And yes, for the record, I, I stabbed myself with a pin and I squirted blood. It was weird. Don't worry about it. Ask KY next time you see him. Let's talk about strawberries. Newman Straw Biggio. God damn it. From Cracker Jack. God damn it, Cracker Jack. From Iggy Sama. Here's Top Dem. From... What else is there? A few more. There's a little bit... A little bit more. From McNute too. Oh my God! Here's Newman Straw Biggio again. What? What even is this face? What even is this face? You have to let me know. It's it's very strange. From Fish Laser ninety seven. We are one. We are many. We are Toad. <laughs> From Razor two. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, well, that's my stream for tonight. Thanks for watching. This was fun. It was nice to revisit a childhood favorite and offer some fresh frustration and perspective on the game. As I read more of the Mario book, I'll have more insight. I'll try to read a little bit more tonight, so that way I'll have some new info tomorrow for when I stream Mario 3 again. But yeah, it was, uh, it was good. I'll see you tomorrow with more Mario 3 and a and bunch of other shit. Stick around for the next stream, and good night. Thanks for joining. See you guys.